Marshall, the potential of set shot. Ridley tied it up. And again, quick hands back to Laverde. Now back to Ridley where it all started. They've got a habit of this, hasn't it? Handballing it around for not much value, and it's coughed up in the end by Parrish to Rosie. Would have been a good idea, and I'm sure the groundsman would have adhered to it <laughs> for the visitors. Now, long searching kick. Two one on ones deep, and look at Finlayson to spring to life. The former giant loves playing in Sir Doug Nichols round and from 30 metres out directly in front. No problem at all for Jeremy. And they're out of defensive 50 for now, Port Adelaide. Bouncing ball. Could have been awkward for Ridley. But he clunked it and got it to Martin. Handball on the outside for Merritt. Got options, got a couple of teammates. And he put Ridley under the pump, and now Port had the numbers. Bonner on his right side to find a teammate. Did so delightfully, and they are flying through the middle of Adelaide Oval when they do go forward, Port. And the link-up is superb to find Rosie a chance for number two. Yeah, so there's the lesson. So as soon as you get a shallow turnover, you've got to go straight back in, because right now Port are too good at transitioning. Dixon this time. Outsized. His midfielders haven't been great at defending, so one on one contest has been caught in quite a few this year. Oh, so relaxed. Charlie Dixon, great to have him back in round 11. He's off the mark in 2022. And now Burton, how to get rid of that? Doesn't matter now as Wines goes as far as he can. And over the top, Ridley brought it down for Laverty once more. Team defence on display, but they cough it up to Butters, and you don't want to do that. Zach Butters, deadly. We want. How well weighted was that? Just teasing Jones, the kick from Bonner. And as a result, Port Adelaide are up to centre field again. Well, this is the problem, Speedy. Port Adelaide just moving the ball far too easily at the moment from defence to attack. Dumont got a poke in the eye, then moved it on quickly enough, and from one end to the other. Marshall to finish it all. Reed almost missed his shoe, but it still found a teammate. Bounced its way nicely to Wanganeen. Martin. Oh, Drew's got him. Dumping tackle. Umpire happy with that. And Port Adelaide going the other way after the work from Drew. Handball chain. Wines. Ran his full measure and saw an opportunity presenting for Motlop. And Motlop turned down a teammate in the pocket to go for the set shot and makes no mistake. Port Adelaide absolutely dominating here on Sunday afternoon. Outside five, play on. Play on. And this time he takes off. Perkins goes to the big man and Phillips. 20 goals, 10 throughout his career. Good conversion from the big Ruckman. So Phillips, can he hit the scoreboard and show the little man how it's done? He can. Essendon finally have their first major midway through the second term. Farrell, it's a beautiful kick on that left foot. Look at that one travel. Spare man back though, Ridley. Didn't bring it down. Couldn't complete the mark. Now Pal Pepper, another crack. Just surged out of traffic. And this time on his not preferred. No problem at all for Sam Pal Pepper. Couldn't bring it down. Fumble from Willem Drew allowed Laverde to crash through again. Merritt. Only Parrish has had more possessions in this game. McGrath's kick, inventive, found Caldwell. Shrunk one tackle, just got the handball away for McGrath to have a shot on the run. Did he get enough on this one? He did. Big moment for the Bombers, perhaps. Won't mind these conditions one little bit, you'd imagine. Hind back to Heppel, and the kick affected only as far as Rosie. Essendon are cracking in here. And Hines kick waited for Jones. And that's the kind of delivery he wants. Tough conditions now to drive it through the wind and the rain here at Adelaide Oval. But he hits that pretty sweet. Will it hold on? It does. Welcome back, Harry Jones. He's got his first in 2022. Essendon out the back as it bounces their way for Hind. Put his teammate under the pump. Hospital ball when Pal Pepper's in the vicinity. And Kelly is done. The soccer's proving effective in this term with the change of conditions. McGrath's kick, again, only a hand on it from Peter Wright. Parrish looking for teammates, made it tough on Caldwell. Houston dumped him. Left for Parrish in the end. McGrath threaded his way through. No mark for Merritt, but this will be paid to Martin. 
Might be another one brewing here as Perkins picks up McGrath off the back of the square. Elects to go via hands to Draper. Well, that was the target at least. Found Jones in the end. Draper couldn't get it on the boot to go for goal, but it worked out just fine. And Waterman should be able to convert here for the Bombers. It didn't think it was a great decision initially to try to handball to Draper. Link-ups again for Essendon. Right down the middle. Here comes Alir. Almost for Durham. Trying to stick it in front of goal. Now Martin. And well done by Boak. The tackle allowed Butters to come. Oh, here they go again. Pow, Pepper v. Draper, the two number twos. What a clash. Peter Wright saying, let's go long. Alir Alir getting taken out of it by Jones. That was the intent. Durham with strength. Punches another one through. What a game he's having. Look at the scoreline. They're back within eight. Off the boot of McGrath. He knows he's under pressure. Across the face of goal he goes. And it falls in the lap of Dumont, who's tweaked his ankle. We've got to return to the showdown, do we? He doesn't want the kick. Well done by Waterman. Got Alir under the footy. He's coming again, though. Alir, Alir with a second effort. Hunted him down. Great recovery. Yeah, that put out only 33 inside 50s for the game. It's remarkable. Oh, yeah. There he is again, utilising the soccer skills and a slip from Burn Jones. Opens the door for Water. Late concern here for Carl Amon in the final 10 seconds. He's clutching at a lower leg. Hopefully, no damage done. They don't want to lose him as the siren sounds. And Port Adelaide. They improved to five and six heading into the bye. And they'll look to take some momentum out of this six-week stretch.